hello my friends thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jen and I love all things color we talk about makeup skincare and also my favorite topic sunscreen in fact that's what we're gonna be talking about I wanted to try two new brands like new uh, brands of sunscreen and uh, yeah and I did I pay I um, I believe I read this in like a, an, an article, you know, like in these sunscreens that you should you, you could try. So this is from a brand called Zit Sticker or Stick A. I'm not sure. Zit Sticker. And I believe this is a very popular brand uh, where they maybe sell patches or cream. I'm not exactly sure, but that's how this brand actually got very popular. Uh, you, I, I bought both from Ulta. So this is a Z sticker where it's meant for acne prone screen so at skin what i'm saying acne prone screen acne prone skin and it came like in a very bulky packaging this was this is what it came in and i have it opens up and inside the product was this is glass and it's pretty heavy and this is a uh, hybrid sunscreen is both chemical and physical sunscreen mixed and uh, the physical part of the sunscreen which is zinc oxide which is three percent is actually quite less the the most of it is chemical and again this this particular sunscreen is marketed towards acne prone skin they say breakout proof so they're basically guaranteeing that you will not break out from this sunscreen so that's a great uh, uh, great thing and that's so this sunscreen is called mega shade the brand is zit sticker and this is called mega shade and i also tried out this the both are new brands like at least to me this is called kinship this is a hundred percent mineral sunscreen this is like more like a sport sunscreen so self reflect sport sunscreen and i've never tried a sunscreen with such a high spf this is spf 60 and uh it's 100 percent zinc oxide and says triple ceramide moisturizing sunscreen and it is clean cruelty free vegan and dermatologist tested so this one comes like in a little tube your your regular tube it's opaque packaging which will safeguard all the ingredients and keep it nice and safe and not like expire basically uh so yep yeah. so those are the two of sunscreen i wanted to quickly do us like a arm swatch and then definitely you'll see it and right now i have uh on my skin um the this one on this side and the mega shade on this side and then the self-reflect kinship one on this side so you guys will see what they basically look like on the skin it's like a pump well not pump like a suction thing this is so mineral uh this this one is uh the texture is so lightweight nowadays you see a new kind of formula like more like a serum sunscreen the consistency is, look at that it's like so watery uh just reminds me so much the packaging everything reminds me so much of murad's brand new serum sunscreen i reviewed that as well here that is 100 percent mineral sunscreen so i will leave it down below if you want i've been obsessed with that kind of formula super goop also has come out with a brand new like serum -y water like sunscreen i will also leave that link down below if you're interested you can take a look so maybe i should do like a video on like new my favorite serum sunscreens because they are wonderful the, they're so 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 easy to use and so quick to blend it in and i love them so look at that it's just like gone it's poof it's gone so that is that mega shade which is a hybrid sunscreen and it is serum kind of like formula this is your regular uh cream like formula but it's not like pasty consistency very whipped the biosense one also is kind of like a whipped kind of a formula from uh sephora the biosense one so both don't have any tint which i like because my clothes can get you know not mine everybody's clothes can get really dirty now this i would say it's not completely like disappears in the skin like this it kind of leaves a little bit of cast but this little cast can be easily fixed with if you just set your face with powder and in places where i do have hyperpigmentation which is like near the knuckles it gets a little darker but other places here look at that it's pretty good it's not bad at all 
if this one i wouldn't wear by itself without setting my face with powder and the longer you leave it it'll just this cast even this mild cast is gonna just disappear so both the sunscreens i and this one this one did not have any scent the mega shade uh or i don't know like no, no significant scent but this one smells like your old school sunscreens just your regular sunscreen so i love both so those are the quick swatches and you'll see what they look like on my skin the demo section and then you'll hear my final thoughts so let's head over right, guys let's see what these look on my skin so this one as i said this is a hybrid chemical and physical sunscreen so because this is so serumy it's like so easy to put on right now i have nothing on my skin uh just moisturizer and you can see my brows are done my eyes are done but and i also have lip gloss this is the t28 tower 28's lip jellies just fantastic just like the best lip gloss ever it's only like 15 dollars so i'm just gonna put it on my skin like that and because we have two one on each cheek absolutely serumy i definitely oh it's gonna be my eyes my eyeshadow too i'm just gonna tap 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 and i love i'm in, in love with serum formula serum sunscreens and they are trending like i said uh so hard and i'm just for it so for it guys these serum sunscreens i just love the texture and how watery and how just just melts into the skin none of the old school like pasty thicker kind of consistency i know i mean they're good but you're gonna have to like work it into your skin these are so so easy and so fantastic i love them so that is the so this is the zit sticker or zit sticky i don't know zit sticker mega shade so that's a hybrid one and this is kinship uh, this is the Sport SPF 60 and this is 100% mineral sunscreen and this is SPF 60 and the formula has a lot of good in green like triple ceramide, right? So I'm just gonna get some and Let's see how that goes. I'm just gonna put more sometimes people say I put less and then they say you put more uh, I'm just gonna put how much I usually put on I just put a lot to be honest. What do you usually do? A little bit of cast, um, but nothing a light dusting of powder wouldn't set, fix. You know? Just a light dusting of powder, just a little streakiness too. It's kind of absorbing as you can see. The more you work it into your skin, it's gonna just like just setting this with powder will just fix it it's not like a crazy intense cast as you can see like here it's more intense because i do have that's where you can that, that's how you can tell the difference where i have hyperpigmentation in my face where i don't here in the cheek area you see how like easily kind of like setting and it's almost no white cast but here Here's where I actually have a good, like serious hyperpigmentation and there it's like really hard to set. So that's not the product's fault, I suppose. So I'm just going to go ahead. So that's kind of like a little demo. My face is super, super glowy, but I gotta say it's like so moisturizing. So I'm just gonna quickly go and set my face and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Um, I'm not gonna lie it took a lot of powder to set the sunscreen and still every 10 minutes or so the sunscreen is actually oozing out of the powder and out of the makeup that i have on because it is both products are super 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 glowy it's gonna look stunning during the summer and the beach and all those ultra ultra glowy skin but i'm just saying it's just it's pretty it's pretty like a glowy ultra glowy so yeah so if you after like five minutes or so if you see the the oiliness oozing out that's why it's not me that's not my actual skin doing that that's sunscreen so let's just quickly round up oh wait i used for my cheeks i used tower 28's um 
cream uh, blushes this is in the shade happy hour so so pretty i love it and i'm not wearing any highlighter because it was just like the sunscreen and the cream blush everything together it was just already very glowy so i skipped sun uh, highlighter very very rare but i did and then on my face i have baked and balanced by laura geller baked and balanced and brighten sorry in the shade deep and then for like i also said this baked and balance and glow in the shade tan so this is, this is just like a glowy all over glowy powder i put that as well that is it so overall thoughts i really like both uh, especially given the fact that this texture on the kinship is like so whipped and the spf coverage is so high i really like it the only thing is i do not see like a pa rating i would have really 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 loved to see a pa rating a lot of the korean kind of like skincare brands most of them have pa ratings pa rating if you didn't know is a rating uh it's usually pa and then you'd see uh one plus signs and or several plus signs and the, i think the most is like four or five plus signs so the uh the more the plus signs you see the more effective your sunscreen is from protecting your skin from uva rays in specific so i don't maybe it does a good job protect from uva and b nope uh that's not the problem but it just doesn't have a rating i really wished it does so yeah this is like a so sheer for being a hundred percent mineral sunscreen the kinship is like completely sheer the consistency is whipped and it has good 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 ingredients trip says formulated with triple ceramide complex to replenish moisture and help uh, you know uh, support a healthy skin barrier and i love the packaging too it's so lightweight and it's so sleek nothing special but it's a good package it's like easy to just put it in your bag and it, uh, and it's not like a mini size it's a 1.7 gram so all in all that is a good one and it's also like an easy sports kind of a sunscreen so on my skin tone it was pretty good as you guys saw so if you have lighter skin tone it's going to be even more easier to just slap it on your face and just go about your day so yes it is vegan cruelty free and clean um and reef saves as well so yes that's that and this one is in my favorite my latest favorite like next gen kind of sunscreen formula which is a serum sunscreen it's like so watery i love it uh i would say i always i'm gravitated towards and i love like 100 percent mineral sunscreen I, so i would say the only downside for this is oh it doesn't have a pa rating as well i'm not wrong only downside is it's a hybrid but i can work with it i really no no problem I, I i can work with it but yeah and also it comes from a brand that is um dedicated all of its product or most of its product to avoid uh acne right acne breakout so they are like guaranteed well not guaranteed but they say it's breakout proof you know you will not break out so if you have any problem kind of acne problems i think you, sh you should definitely consider the uh zit sticker zit sticker brand because i think that's how they kind of like i think got really popular because they have that zit kind of like a stopper or kind of patches something like that i don't really know about it i've never used it so yes it stops uh this also doesn't have like a uv a pa rating so i'm just like uh, looking around if it specifically says protects against uva and uvb it it says that it protects against uv rays so anyways really wish it had a uv uh, pa rating as well but the serum sunscreen i love i absolutely love it i just love how effortless it is uh this thing is it's glass and it is heavy just like the murad one which is also glass and heavy which is also a um, like a serum sunscreen but that is 100 percent uh mineral sunscreen so i will definitely leave the link down below for the murad it's fantastic i love it so yeah i like it too so both are actually super duper hits for me i know i've like uh reviewed so many sunscreen products i will leave uh the playlist also down below so you can like take a look at it so both are actually super duper hits for me uh and also i love the fact that it's like ultra ultra glowy it'll be great for the shoulders and the neck and the decolletage area 
so yeah uh so those are my thoughts i really hope you guys found this video useful and the demo useful as well uh and i will see you guys very soon bye, -bye.